terms related to circle. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to identify the terms related to a circle. Let's begin! We all know that we are surrounded by circular objects. It can be a clock, even a whole pizza, a wheel, a cookie, or a coin. But wait! Do you know what a circle is? A circle is a set of all points in a plane with the same distance from a certain point. This certain point is called the center. Now aside from the center, let's learn more about the parts or terms related to circle. First, we have the chord. A chord is a segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. It can be like this, this, or this. Now this chord is also called the diameter. A diameter is a chord that connects two points on the circle and passes through the center. A diameter can be like this, 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 or like this as long as it passes through the center. Now half of the diameter is what we call the radius. A radius is a line segment from the center to a point on the circle. A radius can be drawn like this, this, or this. Now another term that you'll be happy to know is the circumference. A circumference is the distance around the circle. Now a part or a portion of the circumference of the circle is called an arc. An arc can be like this or this. Wonderful! Now let's recall all the terms related to circle. First is the center. Next, a line whose endpoints lie on the circle is called chord. While the chord that passes through the center is the diameter. While half of the diameter is called radius. Now the distance around the circle is called circumference while a portion of circumference is what we call arc wonderful now let's see if you really understand the lesson by trying this activity let's identify the terms related to a circle using the given figure first is point a now we can see that point a is found at the center of the circle now point a is called center Next is line segment FT, whose endpoints lie on the circle, but the segment does not pass through the center, so it's only called a chord. Next is line segment CE, which is a chord that passes through the center, so it is called a diameter. Now we have line segment AD, which starts from the center point A to an end point T on the circle. So clearly, it is a radius. Lastly, we have BF, which is an arc. If you got it all correct, you did a great job. <laughs> Wonderful students! Now here are the things that you learned today.